All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Monday. We're playing more phages. And uh, still, deck's not great, <laughs> you know. I was do either open up fantastically or you open up ass with this deck. So hopefully we get some decent plays because holy crap, when this deck opens up ass, it opens up ass. Oh, like this hand right here. So uh, neither player contribute monsters. You're kind of meh. So we'll go ahead and activate that, that powerful Ignite Reload. Shh, reveal you two. Put you two back because I really don't need... You guys, I need a five. Oh, you're a five right there. And, uh, yeah, now we can get the ball rolling. I think the thing that we opened up with the play, the exact play that I wanted. So, we'll go ahead and uh, activate my field spell. We'll play you in the pendant scale. So, neither player can activate cards or effects in a chain. And neither player can activate trap cards. And then I'll go ahead and pendulum summon you, Mr. Birdie Guy. Yep. I mean, I'm probably going to lose one of my monsters, but that's fine, because I get a search, so I'll probably save the trap guy, and I'll probably let the this guy go away and have and put a different five, but still, plays are real. I don't have much to talk about lately. Uh, lately, life has just been kind of really quick, really really fast, really, really linear as of late. Uh, you know, it just seems like yesterday we put these new decks on Daily Duels, and we're about to already uh, have our lineup again in like a, like a week or two, so... Yeah, you know, just time flies. <laughs> it definitely does. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you this interesting story that I haven't got to t tell you guys because I've just been really talking about other things. Uh, but it's a pretty interesting story. Okay, I don't know. I guess my opponent quit because I know I didn't lose connection, so we'll just get another duel. Be right back. And of course, right, as soon as I get a, a decent hand, he's just like, gone. I'm like, alright, that's fine. <laughs> If I find no, it is not. So we have a three, a three, and a five. Okay, let's just. But I can't summon you, so I'm gonna want to put you back. Like, uh, that's a given. I'm gonna go ahead and put you back because I'm gonna put you two my pendulum scales. So anyway, uh, I actually have one of these friends in real life who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. No surprise there, and uh, he he's playing Monarchs. You know, the, the nice majority of the people in Yu-Gi-Oh right now are playing Monarchs. It's a pretty powerful deck, so no surprise there. And with play marks, wow, alright. Well, I guess I'll play you as my five then, and I'll and I'll pendulum summon you. <laughs> and you have a nice booty. So, we'll go ahead and play you. Neither player can activate monster effects. Neither player can activate traps. We'll go ahead and pendulum summon you in defense mode. Uh, I dropped Ignite Reload down to two because it was getting kind of clogy at three because I don't want to always shuffle it. It was becoming a dead draw at three because, you know, I wouldn't always want to shuffle a draw multiple and, you know, I can only activate one. And then, of course, I shuffle Ignite Reload, draw Ignite Reload. So, awesome. Awesome. So, as long as he doesn't have Regeki, I should be okay because he can't summon, he can't activate monster effects, he can't activate traps, he can't summon friendly extra deck, like, his deck is just all can. But uh, he, was, he was just so proud of his Monarch deck, you know, Monarchs are so strong. Uh, and this is just right after. I think it was actually the day of that the the uh, adjusted list was revealed. So you know he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm playing monarchs, and now since you know PP is gone, uh, I, you know I have the shit." <laughs> so he he was just totally happy about that. So I will go ahead and uh, no, actually I might want to keep. I, I'm gonna lose one of them. Monster effects is fine, Gaster, but I think I'm gonna hold on to trap guys. So no, I'm gonna allow Gaster to die, but I'm gonna keep Plessed. And then draw a card. All right. And that's not really what I need to draw at all. So I think I might go ahead and shovel this guy back because I can't even pendulum summon him. So, uh, yeah. And I would love to switch out this Ignite Reload for another monster. So this deck runs a ton of monsters. The majority of this deck is fucking monsters. And I'm just not getting any. So, <laughs> so I would love a monster. I got this. So that's good. All right. You're a three. You're a five. So I guess I'll go ahead and... Uh, you're just another three, though. That's the problem. Like, you, you need to run, like, pretty much all of them, but... So, uh, just, this deck's so inconsistent at times. It really is. So, I can go ahead and play him. Pendulum summon him. As long as I don't get Solemn Stricken, I should be okay. Now, at least I got my Pendulum Board. I got Pendulum Board down to two, because it's still inconsistent as well. Like, the, there's cards that are great in this deck, but then, then they're not, like, fantastic, you know? So we'll go ahead and summon you, and like I said, as long as you don't have Solemn Strike, and then I got my Pendulum Reborn, which means I can actually revive this guy, trip him off, and then continue drawing cards. So I can actually get the ball rolling some more. That's good. Just glad that his back row wasn't like a Solemn Strike or a Solemn Warning, or I wouldn't even be able to get that Pendulum Sent off, because technically, uh, while you control an Alpha Mage monster, you need to play a kind of trap cards, but I didn't control my monster yet. 
So he he was totally hyped about having Monarchs, you know, Monarchs supposedly being the best deck. I guess he didn't think anything about Cosmos. I don't know. And uh, with that, <laughs> all right, that's fine. So uh, you're another three. So yes, I need to go ahead and maintain you, and I would like to maintain my uh, trap card as well. So bef before you go off, can I play anything, or are you just gonna die? That's that's the question I'm kind of wondering right now. Now I technically don't control a monster, so you can go ahead and play it, and that's what I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and play my Pendulum Reborn. So I'm going to one for my extra deck, which will still be tributed, but I don't think he'll be able to activate any more trap cards after that. So, yeah. See, I guess it doesn't really matter. And then keep him, I'll go ahead and tribute off, and then draw another one. Another one. And yes, we're playing upstart, so we're hoping it up because uh, I totally don't mind exchanging my uh, my uh, a one for one, getting one card deeper in this deck. Because generally, that's what this freaking deck needs to get one deck card deeper. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and normal summon a monster so he can activate any trap cards, and then I'll pendulum summon. So we'll go ahead and normal summon you, and then pendulum summon you, you, and you. Because I don't care about life points, you know, as long as I lock you out of the duel, I'm going to win eventually, so that's all that matters, right? <laughs> and as you can clearly see, I mean, that's exactly how it's going to go down. Unless he's going to, you know, start blocking all my attacks. It's like, neither player can activate cards effects in a chain. Okay, that's fine. I can, I guess I can see how that card is beneficial, but eh, really? Meh. Yeah, like him, he's more of just a pendant scale, neither player can add cards in their hand. Except by drawing them, huh? Okay. So I'm playing Yada, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can lock him out like that, but no. <laughs> so, he wanted a challenge. He wanted a challenge, so not only did he bring his Monarch deck uh, over to my friend's house, but he happened to bring a deck that, uh, you know, you guys still wake up in the middle of the night screaming, screaming about. You know, since Pepe is gone, and, you know, because it got hit so hard, you know, let's go ahead and take the next level challenge. This man actually had full power Dragon Lords. All right, my opponent scooped it up. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get another duel. Bear back. So yeah, this man had full power dragon the works. Like exactly the the deck list that uh I think it was the deck that Patrick Hoban used uh in one of the tournaments. But yeah, like full on Dragon Rolls, every single card, it, it's just ph phenomenal. And he was like, Oh I, yeah, I can take Dragon Rolls with a monarch. It's like, okay, sure. So he's like, You wanna duel me? Like, sure, I'll go ahead and crush you with Dragon Rolls, Mr. You think you're so high and mighty. I'll go ahead and put you in your grave with, you know, one of the most powerful decks in all of you. Get. Oh, wow. <laughs> we were both playing the same deck. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it'll just be a beat-a-thon who can ever summon the strongest beater wins, because that's pretty much how this deck goes. And neither mo player can activate monster effects. I really don't activate monster effects, and neither opponent can tribute monsters. Oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Because it seems like you need the stronger monsters to pull off plays. And it seems like you opened up well. He opened up fantastically, but he opened up well. So I can't tribute monsters, so this should be interesting. And then he's going to be like, oh, snap. Uh, is it all? It is all. Fuck. It is all. <laughs> and uh, it's all for both sides. Wow. So I think he might be able to beat me because he actually has stronger beaters than me right now. All right. Go ahead and play this. So all. And go ahead and play this because it's all. I'll go ahead and activate you two in my pendulum scales, like wow. <laughs> and I'll summon you and you will just attack over you, because I think I opened up just a little bit better than him, because I got my field spell and my continuous spell. And then, uh, uh, well, both of you guys are going to die. It's a giant shot, this card battles a pendulum monster, destroy that monster, destroy that monster and this card, but... Monster effect can't be activated, and you don't do anything, so I guess I'll just go ahead and kill you, I mean, and then you'll tribute, you'll destroy, so. I'd say it's all the same in the end, but I think I'll put up a little bit better. So, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Monarch guy. You know, and, and, of course, you know, uh, okay, he's just gonna go ahead and scoop. Yeah, yeah I win, I'm the better, more of a because I opened up better. <laughs> he opened up, he didn't open up bad, like, he opened up. Average, but I opened up the fill spell, the continuous spell, and I opened up just the best. Is it just my cards? If monsters in your hand or your side of the field is tributed or destroyed by that, okay, I would get to search. And what about this? Uh, the twice per turn, each time a more phase monster you control is tributed, immediately draw one card. I think he would get that too. So, damn, damn, the mirror match is too strong. <laughs> Alright, get another duel, bear back. So, as you guys know, uh, full power dragon rose very fast. They they have a, a butt ton of hand traps. So 
with that and with the power and not the responsibility, 5-5-3. Five, five, so I guess I'll go ahead and play you. So spell cards can't be activated and pendulum summon you. Just fine. I opened up okay. Yeah. Like I said, this card is good later in the duel. It's not really the greatest of early draws. So I'll go ahead and summon you. I'll go ahead and set this and activate this. Which means that I'll tribute one and get a, and then get a search and then one will be popped. So who do I want to keep? I'll probably keep the guy who blocks spell cards because I don't know. Seems like my opponent over here is playing Monarchs, if anything. So locking out of spells is pretty good. I mean, locking out of extra deck. What extra deck? But locking Monarchs out of spells? Not bad. Not bad. So thank you, Lux. <laughs> oh, no. He's playing Toons. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. So no extra deck like he cares, right? All right. So... Uh, Lux I want to keep and I'll go ahead and get rid of uh, uh, Hyper. His name is Hyper? I did not notice that. Uh, so I need a three. Uh, getting the guy who blocks trap cards seems like a pretty good idea too. Yeah, I'll get the guy who blocks trap cards. He'll die, which is fine. Then we'll go ahead and proceed to activate P Pless or whatever his name is. I uh, really don't need to activate it right now. Like I said, this is... Okay, he's just going to scoop. Uh, Reborn is for the higher ones and the lower ones who get in the extra deck, you know. Whether they're in the zones, get destroyed, some in the back as monsters, or, you know, the lower ones like him, who's like, you know, I had a pendant scale from 5 to 3, but I happen to be a level 2. So, there you go. And opponents, like I said, this deck, this deck's just... I either open up well or open up the butt, and right now I'm just opening up well and locking my opponent out of dueling and playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Fun, right? <laughs> right back. So, ton of hand traps, I think it was like triple maxis and triple veilers, like, it was just, it was the works, and you know that he was gonna get worked, because I had the works, right? So, with that being said, I'm running one terraforming and two persona, because once I get the field spell up, you know, I don't need multiple, multiple, multiple field spells, so I think uh, two to one ratio is good, especially exploiting the number generator with terraforming, which you clearly see has been happening a, a couple of times in this duel. So I'll go ahead and play the upstart, give him a thousand light points so I can draw another card. Uh, I got a fives, a couple of threes, so... Uh, we'll play you, we'll play you, we'll tend to summon you two who have a higher attack than defense, so we'll actually summon some attack mode monsters, 1950, not bad, and uh, go ahead, so your player can activate monster effects, and your player can add cards from their deck to your hand, so it's not bad, it's not bad, especially if it's monarchs, because I think it might be, possibly be monarchs, or something else, like I said, once you, once you see no extra deck, it's just like, hmm, like, what could it possibly be? Yeah, that's definitely how it is at times. I, mean, I love how it's like, oh, I lock you out of somebody's an extra deck, and I'm doing against all these opponents that don't even run an extra deck. Yeah. So, a uh, ton of hand traps, max these viewers out of the ass, and you know, uh, monarchs are really susceptible to that. And I, I've dueled monarch plenty of times. I know who do favor with them, when the maxi, all to do that stuff. So I hindered them a ton of fucking times. Uh, just you know, super rejuve. Oh my god, super fucking rejuve. It's just like, oh, it's a mirror match. All right. Uh, super fucking review, which is like, oh, yes, now I remember <laughs> why this card is fucking banned, because, oh my god, I was dropping stone. Uh, uh, card destruction, monster reborn, heavy storm, all of them, all of them cards. <laughs> just, it all came flooding back to me, right? So, it looks like he didn't open up fantastically unless his back row is something, but this deck doesn't really need back row to tell you the truth. It's monsters lock it down well enough. Uh, I kind of feel like if you're going to run back row, that it should just be back row to help your, your plays with your monster, so go ahead and trip you off again, trip you off again, uh, we'll go ahead and pendulum summon, I don't think I want to overextend and summon all three, but if I get striked, I'm done anyway, right, even if it's just two, so I'll hold on to my plays right now, I'll just summon you two, I said, I'm, I'm actually kind of wondering, curious if he's actually running back row, he's running back row, no, oh, okay, I kind of swear there was going to be some back row action, I guess not, so, attack, attack. Because it looked like he did not open up fantastically at all. I'm assuming that he has also Pendulum Born, because why would you play your Nortes if you didn't, if you're not going to keep it, because he's just going to die. Like, I don't know. And, uh, for now, I'll just hold on to my place. Hold on to this, hold on to this, and, uh, go ahead. Seems like I opened up better. So with everybody playing this deck all of a sudden, yeah. So, it's like, do you have your Pendulum Born? Oh, you're actually playing that card? I don't like that card. I'm not playing it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not playing this card. Like, I get it, but I don't like it. It's like, 
See, my problem with it is it says if a card in your Pendulum Zone is destroyed, you need to put another Amorph Age in your deck, in your uh, from your deck to your Pendulum Zone. That sounds great, right? You know, it's one destroyed, put it in. But it's still the standby phase, which means that monster's also going to die. So that's why I don't really like this. And I'm not playing it. And the minus 100 attack in defense. So it's just kind of meh as well. Wow, another one. <laughs> if you know that, uh... If you control Amorph Age, neither player can add cards in their deck to their hand except by drawing them. So, you know. <laughs> so, tribute off, draw a card. Yes, tribute off, draw a card. So, this I really don't care about right now. Uh, and I guess I'll go ahead and start overextending a little bit. I really don't need to summon you. Like, you're just a monster in defense, so I'll summon all you back. Okay. And, uh,. I kind of want to shuffle some of you guys back. I'm drawing, right? Really, monster, shuffle them back when draw cards equal to the number of cards you shuffle into deck plus one. Yeah, I'm drawing. So, because if I can get my continuous spell and give my myself an attack boost, that's pretty good. I don't need none of you right now. All right, all right. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't draw. I forgot about that. See, this is the reason why uh, Ignite don't run this because they cannot draw. Uh, anymore, like other card effects. It's understandable, it's understandable. So I'll go ahead and set that, and uh, I guess attack, but at this point I'm assuming that he has uh, a booty. You know, one of these booty guys. I think it's all, so I'm not sure if I'll go up and he'll go up, but I don't think I'll be able to attack over his monster. Especially since he set a monster in Smear Mat, and he has like, what, uh, 1850, 1950, like hella booty. Another list? Like, okay. Damn, 3,100 booty. That ass, though. That fucking ass, though. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, I ain't getting over that ass. No, uh not, not anytime soon, anyway. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yeah, anyway. I just had the plays, you know, the, the plays for days, I had resources, I had dragons out the ass, uh, spot popping his monarch, getting rid of his shield spell, he can do shit. Uh, game one, he actually messed up. Uh, I had Monster Reborn in my hand, and I was thinking about Monster Reborn in one of his monarchs. He was doing all his plays, his searches, whatever, and I was like, where's your graveyard? He's like, I shuffled it back in my deck. I'm like, game loss. <laughs> So, yeah, it was actually that freaking sinful to give him that easy game loss because he messed up. But he was probably going to lose anyway. Like, I had dragons in the graveyard, like, just waiting to, you know, to fuck him up. You know, all I had to do was, what, banish, summon a blaster, banish, summon a whole bunch of dragon rulers. My dragon rulers are going to crash with your, your 28 monster because you only gave him the attack, the 800 boost when the monarch attacks opponent's monster. So you'd still be at 28. We'd crash with blaster, and I'd poke you all directly with some dragon rulers, you know. So just fuck you the fuck up, <laughs> definitely. And uh, he, he's doing what some of the plays that I see uh, uh, Aphromage just have to do at times. Uh, just sit on that, st sit and stall. Sit and stall, it's just, see? And that's exactly what happens. Uh, you play it, and then it just goes right back to the extra deck, because it's still the standby phase. And that's that's the reason why I don't like this card. <laughs> if it wasn't still the standby phase, hell yeah, we could talk, but nope. So, tribute off a monster, draw a card. Tribute off a monster, draw a card. God damn, I am not drawing what I need to draw, like, at all. We're going to play Upstart Goblin, and like I said, I can hope him with that, because one, you can have all the life points, I don't even fucking care, and then Reckless, uh, sure, I'll play Reckless, I'll draw two, because I'm still going to be drawing during my plays anyway, and now i got the exact monster that I wanted. So, uh, it's time to go in, even though I think he'll be getting all that attack too. Is it just all for matches on the field? Yeah, so we're all, everyone's getting stronger. Uh, this, this, this mirror match is just too strong right now, so I guess we'll summon all of the beaters, because uh, hopefully I'm about to get it in right now. And then we'll tribute off. Unless it says need a monster to contribute. No, it's just activate monster effects. I was like, do I have the one that I can't tribute something? I think it's just tribute except for Aphromage monsters. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just tribute off the weaker ones. And then I should be stronger? Maybe? No, still not stronger. Damn! Damn. And if I throw a pendulum or born, still not stronger. Like, damn. That, that booty. He said so much booty. His fucking list is fucking lowering my attack and it's fucking me up right now. Like, damn. The booty too strong. He has the booty, people. 
Oh my god, this duel is just gonna sit here checking hella slow until I can actually summon something stronger to get a lot. Right, now he has a 3400 booty, like. <sighs> that ass, though. That ass. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I need my fucking. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think I can handle this because his list, his list is fucking me up. And I don't, I don't think I run any background destruction in here. So, I think he might be able to just sit there on that booty and actually deck me out. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> Cause, I mean, this is as strong as I can pull off. It really is. And with this whole minus, every Aphromage we have on the field, it's just, I'm losing attack and he just stays the same. Like, I'm getting fucked up by Liss. I'm sitting here talking shit how I don't like Liss, and Liss is fucking me up. <laughs> oh my god. And you say neither player can activate trap cards, or... I can tell neither player can activate trap spell or trap card, so they're already activated, so it's too late for that. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, I was gonna win anyway, but he misplayed. He shuffled his freaking graveyard back into his deck, like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, game two, game two is just as easy. Yeah, oh wow, you surrendered. Dude, all you had to do was just stall out. Like, there was no fucking way I was gonna be able to get over that ass. Like, 32, 34? Hell no. And my strongest monster in my deck, that list fucked me up. Damn. Whew, I, I'm glad you quit, because I was about to quit. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to quit. I was probably just going to deck out. I'm probably just going to drop a, a shitstorm still. Just draw two cards, because fuck it. Reckless, let's go. Hoping. <laughs> let's go ahead and give one more duel, and I'll finish up the story. Bear back. <sighs> so, game two. Game two was funny as fuck. I'm playing all my dragon rulers, doing my baby rulers, so many of my dragon rulers, doing all them plays, right? I have, I have fucking uh, two cards left in hand, right? I'm like, card destruction. Pitch my one card. I'm draw one card. One card. He's like, you better fucking not. I'm like, draw. Uh, and keep in mind, I did all baby rolls. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god, I forgot the fucking card. I just said it a couple minutes ago. Damn, what was the name of that card? Holy shit, I forgot the name of the card. The fucking one we draw for the dragons to trip and discard Oh my god. I forgot the name of the card. Damn, I'm so bad. I, I'm sorry. I apologize, people. I literally just forgot the name of the card right now. I said it before. I suck and said it before. Super Rejuve. Super Rejuve. There you go. It's like, Super Rejuve? He's like, really? I'm like, yep. Wow, so he really wants that one draw. That's fine. I'll allow you to even out because I'm just going to lock you out of the, the freaking extra deck anyway. So that's really all that matters. It's just me locking you out of the extra deck. So you can have that. Then when I'm at it, set that. Activate this. And, uh, yeah. So, neither player can activate spell cards, and neither player, uh, takes effect damage. I mean, unless you're playing some Saki Barn card, I don't, I seriously doubt it's gonna do anything, but, uh, Max Eve, let's see what you're gonna do. You playing, you playing Pepe? What's up? <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of cards in your deck. You have, like, 47 cards? Like, 47 cards, 15 extra deck, you're either playing, I think you're playing Light Swarms. Um, I think you're playing Light Swarms, and even then, I mean, that hurts. It hurts. I mean, you can summon JD on me. That would suck. <laughs> I get wrecked, but no access to Michael either. Like, whoo! It hurts. It actually hurts. <laughs> okay, I would say like I couldn't have to your trap cards. No, it's just spell cards. So he's still good. All right, so draw. Uh, Lux. I'll keep Lux. I'll keep Lux. And I will go ahead and search for a three because I'm about to lose my three. And the three I would like to search for is plus. And then. You're going to go ahead and die, then I'll go ahead and activate plus, no, Pendulum summon U3, one, oop, two, three, that summon is resolved, and now fuck you up, and that's pretty much the game. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ham on him. Tell him Draco Sax, why not? More Dragon, Banish, Super Reju, draw, draw, upstart, draw, uh, <laughs> uh, Maxi, draw, just, just drawing out the ass. Uh, fucking, uh, well, I think I, uh, Blaster popped his field spell, Big Guy took his Monarch, uh, <laughs> uh, Monster Born summoned back one of his Monarchs, fucked him up, like, I just fucked him up. I was like, game? He got wrecked. I tooled him with ease. It wasn't even a challenge, so, if you guys think that, you know, yeah, you know, the card, the decks of today are, are way better than the past, like, Dragon Rules aren't that strong. Full power Dragon Rules? Fucking wreck you, man. I was, and I still had dragons out the ass in the graveyard. That's, that's the crazy thing. I still had dragons out the ass. Alright, so it's Harpies. But, uh, what are you gonna do to me, though? Like... Okay, but you can't summon from the extra deck. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> and rank sevens aren't as scary as they used to be. Like, yeah. I was going, I was going to Jericho's and I was like, eh, you know, like still, eh. I mean, of course he's playing Monarch, so he doesn't have, you know, access, but he, he always did it. Monarch Storm Force, tribute off my Draco stack all the time. So like, damn it. Like, I wanted that. Not really. I don't really care. You know, it was mostly for the tokens and stuff too, because just protect my life points, because screw it, because I can. <laughs> and I just crushed him, two of them, with ease. Like, it wasn't even a challenge, no sweat. <laughs> and I didn't even have uh, six cents either, so, yeah. And I'm not, I don't remember, no, uh, Return wasn't in there either. Return from a different dimension wasn't in there either. So, yeah, I just destroyed him. I have Vanities, but I didn't even really want to play it, so. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, I can lock him out of special summoning. What, you know, when he does idea? I'd rather just veil as the idea, so. Anyway, that's my story, so he just, he wasn't ready. He wasn't, he wasn't. He thought his monarchs were the tits, and he got crushed by Dragon Rose at full power. And you guys know, I'm not the best Dragon Rose player, either, but it, it doesn't take much skill when all you have to do is just fill your graveyard up with dragons, baby dragons, big dragons, all them dragons, summon them back, and then just go off, right? So, yep, there we go. Anyway, after mages, another dragon deck. Like I said, too easy, too easy. It's just a lockdown deck. I opened up pretty well, I opened up pretty well. The upstarts put in, the wreck was put in work. Uh, like I said, Ignite Reload and the Revival Card, the Reborn, the Pendulum Reborn are both at 2. And like I said, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're meh. So that's why they're not as much as uh, Reckless and Upstart sitting there holding Because it works. It works. Get to my cards as soon as possible and keep my lock going down and beat you, and beat you over the head with my beaters. Like I said, you probably could have stalled out for a little bit with the 28 Booty Harpy. But I guess you're just like, fuck it, if I can't go to my extra deck, I just quit. It's like, oh, that's fine. With no spells and no traps? Like, damn. Damn. So... Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, tomorrow, I will be seeing you guys with the blue eyes tagging with, I'm not sure at this point. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.